Hey everyone, Chris Roma here, aka Roma Aquatics. Today I just received a shipment from Tommy Lamb over at Shrimp Fever. Can't wait to open it. It's gonna be uh, some interesting stuff inside, so let's get to it. So here's the box it came in. Nice small compact. Let's get it open. Using scissors today. Chuck, thank you for the suggestion. It's funny, my last video is like, you guys and your fancy knives, scissors can do the job just as easy, which is true. The reason I use knives is because scissors tend to get used a lot in the house, which means they get dull. Um, so generally, normally, my knife is sharper than the scissors, which is why I tried to use my knife most of the time, but I just sharpened up these scissors, so they should be good. So inside the box, we have a Shrimp Fever business card. Tommy Lamb. We have the invoice. Cover up this sensitive material, my phone number at the bottom there. Okay, just rip that off. Uh, there's the invoice. So, no surprises is what's in the box now. So, now we have a piece of styrofoam on the top. And we have uh, this looks like either a heater or a cool pack, probably a cool pack, because it was pretty warm the last couple days. And um, right on top here, we have, this is probably some glass garden shrimp baby food. And all these prices are in Canadian dollars, in case you were wondering. Um, so now, let's look at these shrimpies. Show you guys first for a change. But I see some movement in the bag, so that's good. Now I'm going to take a look myself, among the lights. Um, so we do have a dead one, and it looks like it was a failed molt, unfortunately, that's no good. Ugh, why am I getting so much dead stuff in the mail lately? Um, but that's no fun, but it still looks like, it looks like all the others are still alive. Um, so, yeah, looks like we have four live ones. And one dead one at the bottom of the bag there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I try to tell, oh, he's floating around now, right over here. Uh, I'm trying to get it on camera so you can see, but maybe if I take it out of the bag, um, we can see. Uh, but basically that was three, um, three black pintos and two black zebras. And in here, we have a painted fire cherry just to add some jeans into uh, my painted fire tank because I was separating them out and I only had like four or five come out. Oh, and this one is buried already as well. That is awesome. So uh, that's everything in the box. Let's get these guys into their specimen container so we can get a closer look at them. So we'll do the Pintos first. And since we have a death in the bag, this is where uh, it kind of gets sketchy on acclimation. Because since there's a death in the bag, you kind of want to get them out of this water as soon as possible. But you also still don't want to shock them. So it's kind of a catch-22 situation. 
So when this happens, I still acclimate. I just drip much faster. So I'll acclimate over like the course of an hour instead of the course of four or five hours. Uh, so that's probably what's gonna happen with these guys. Because I figure they've been in this water for three days already, what's another hour? Um, okay, hold it up to the light. Make sure they are all out, which they are. And what I'm gonna do here is just pick out this piece of foam he has there, so you guys can see. Um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the fire shrimp too, um, before I move the camera and give you guys a close up. like the inside of this bag, the middle bag was leaking on this painted fire. So I gotta get her out because I just cut that outer bag and then all of a sudden the bag went flat, lost pressure. So I need to get her out now. There we go. Okay, that wasn't as um, smooth as I would have liked, but she's out. And that's, that's all that matters. Okay, so let's get some nice close-ups of these guys. Put them on some white paper. And let's get some shots. So here are the black Pintos and the black Zebra Pintos. Unfortunately, there's the one that didn't make it. And you see what I mean? It looks like a failed molt. Uh, probably got stressed out, tried to molt, and wasn't ready to molt yet. So some beautiful pinto shrimp. That black zebra there is wonderful. Shadow zebra. Two beautiful shadow zebras. And there's the painted fire. Buried mama. Ready to go. Trying to get a nice shot here. There we go. She's a beaut, huh? You can still kind of see the saddle in there. And the legs aren't completely red, so I don't know if I would call this um, painted. Just very high grade. Um, but anyway, let's get them acclimating.
Alright guys, thanks for watching. I love my new uh, Pintos. Thank you, Tommy. Uh, go check out Shrimp Fever if you haven't already. They've got lots of great, beautiful shrimp over there. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share all that good stuff. Alright, I guess that's it. Till next time later, fish fam.